Good morning, everyone. Who? My name is Rofei Du, and I serve as the interactive perception and graphic lead at Google AR. Today, I'm thrilled to be here with you to share our latest research and development in visual blocks, visual programming of AI pipelines. First and foremost, I would like to deeply thank the visual blocks team, especially Nali and Jingjin for the technical leadership. Jason for the Web AI Championship, and uh, um, David, Alex, Adarsh, and Ram for the senior leadership. In recent years, there has been a rising number of real-time multimedia machine learning models, including 3D photos, portrait relighting, and virtual background that everyone is using in Google Meet and Zoom today. However, prototyping ML-based application is, is challenging due to the complex workflow. Let's take a portrait writing pipeline in CGraph 2021 as an example. It consists of a geometry network, an albedo network, and a shading network. And whenever a bug occurs, there's no easy way to debug it without debugging into the complex pipeline. Yeah. And it re usually requires a significant amount of time in coding to debug a single bug in the pipeline and a slow communication between UX researchers, ML researchers, and engineering team to find which network has the error. <laughs> in natural language research, rapid prototyping and the evaluation of ML has gained recent attention with notable works like AI chains, prompt chainer. But dating back to 1960s, visual programming has been proved to be useful in helping users to complete complex programming tasks. Especially in computer graphics, node graph editors are widely used for compositing complex rendering scenes. However, all these existing tools can hardly satisfy the growing needs of the machine learning community and who often deals with real-time multimeter data. And we, of, we often need to deal with like real-time webcam input, uh, video and graphics applications such as uh, virtual backgrounds, depth processing, and 3D effects. To better understand the, sc the scope, we conducted a formative study with seven Googlers with semi-structured interview with this very uh, sketchy mock-up of Vero blocks. And based on the findings we have in the interviews, throughout the year, we have developed Vero blocks, a cross-platform application that operates within a web browser, leveraging technologies including TensorFlow.js, 3.js, and WebGL. Next, let's watch our video. Let's go to the video here. Raps AI provides a rich set of nodes for users to choose from. Each node can suggest a list of valid nodes to connect. There's a list of models and shader effects, and it's easy to mix and match them to create 2D and 3D effects. Raps AI also provides various inputs, such as live camera, audio, and video. For more advanced use cases, Raps AI can run custom shaders, allow live editing, and show the results right away. The Image Processor node provides many options for computer vision practitioners, such as crop, rotate, blur, noise, and more. The Image Comparison node can connect to different visualizations, compare them side by side with zoom in features and more. Experimenting a depth yeah, let's pipeline. Get back to the slides. <laughs> Users can run their own models. By All right. Design. Yeah, that's a quick overview of Vero Blocks. And one of my favorite visualization feature in Vero Blocks is this interactive data augmentation, uh, which really enables ML engineers to quickly generate side-by-side -side comparison of a wide range of data augmentation uh, with any input or image or video or webcam in the wild. For example. Here, uh, we can easily see like the background segmentation model is not that robust to uh, image share or image rotation. You can also compare different visual effects for video conferencing. For example, we are also bridging uh, GPU shaders together with machine learning models and webcam input. To evaluate visual blocks, we conducted four case studies with 15 ML practitioners within Google. These cases are Portrait depth with relighting effects. You can also uh, Google a portrait depth API that everyone is available to use on the web. 
thin depth with fog effects. You can easily like uh, add back the famous fog car to San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. And alpha matting for virtual backgrounds, uh, which gives you a fine detail segmentation of your hair region. And uh, finally, audio denoising for remote communication in pixel phones. We interviewed 15 ML practitioners uh, and to and find our system less controlled, but more transparent and collaborative. For example, they can accelerate your ML prototyping workflow, reducing your prototyping time from one hour to a few minutes. Furthermore, Viral blocks can also assist in identifying issues in ML models and training sets. For example, you can easily manipulate the brightness slider bar and see when your model fails. Finally, Viral blocks help people to select the best model and easily share your model and pipeline with anyone working uh, in your organization. You can easily share your demos by just copy and paste the URL. We launched the video blogs in Google I.O. 2023 and published a Google research blog. Uh, we also won an honorable mention award at CHI 2023. Now this year, we are pleased to announce a collaboration with Hugging Face, who have, who have created 16 brand new custom nodes for video blogs, uh, bringing the power of Transformers.js into video blogs ecosystem. And eight of these new nodes run entirely on the client side via WebAI. Let's walk through some of them. First, token classification. What's that? Well, given some sentences, it can extract uh, locations, uh, company names, person names, uh, the key entities found in the sentence. Moving on, you have the Hello World example in machine learning on the web. You can select uh, from uh, four different classification models, including uh, REST Knight or uh, YOLO variants. Switching back to text models, we also have a new text classification, text classification model powered by uh, Transformers.js and Hugging Face. This allows you to classify text based on the sentiment or toxicity, for example. Next up, background removal. So not only person, uh, we can also segment uh, objects and animals in real time in viral blocks now. Finally, we have depth estimation. For any given image, the model will try and, uh, and estimate how far away each pixel is uh, given the uh, uh, image in the wild. And one can easily turn a single photo into a 3D photo on the web. Now, in addition to the client-side models on the previous slides, Hugging Face are now supporting uh, several task-based nodes in video blocks. And this uh, empowers any developer to access thousands of uh, server-side models within the uh, video blocks input and output nodes. And you can choose between the seven tasks, like feeding masks, image classification, summarization, text classification, uh, text generation, text to image, or even token classification for any server-side models. Now head over to the product page at goo.gle slash hf dash blocks to learn how you can use these brand new Viroblocks nodes from the Hugging Face family. So how did Hugging Face make those custom nodes that work seamlessly with their own custom code and APIs? Well, today uh, we are pleased to announce custom nodes for Viroblocks. Since launching Vero Blocks in 2023, we've spoken to many of the developers, and time after time, we hear you, I want to use your community nodes with my own code. So today, uh, we introduce a uh, custom node, uh, where uh, each node uh, can be ordered in native JavaScript. And for example, you can uh, easily add a uh, make the sentence uppercase.js and uh, use the existing node like text input in Vero Blocks and the Markdown Viewer in, v in Vero Blocks to bridge the gap between uh, existing nodes and your own custom logic. And this also brings you like the access to webcam input as well. You can visit goo.gle slash vbcodelab to learn how to order a new custom nodes in Vero Blocks. And remember to use hashtag VeroBlocks so that we can highlight your own pipeline and custom nodes of our future talks. Now then, 
if you can create a custom node that is well-defined input and output, what could the future of Vero blocks be like? Today, we would like to share with you our latest research, Instruct Pipe, co-pilot for Vero programming. Today, with Vero blocks, uh, to go order a new AI pipeline, one needs to do drag and drop of the input, ML, and output nodes onto the canvas. But we wonder, what if we could turn people's ideas directly into reality? And what if it all starts with a single search? So we introduced Project Interest Pipe, a research project that given the description of the AI pipeline you want, and it will automatically generate a draft pipeline for you. For example, grab AI news from Google and summarize it into bullet points. Boom, within a few seconds, uh, Instagram automatically gives you a draft pipeline, uh, including Google search node, uh, stream picker node, and a summarization node uh, using the Palm API. This system consists of three main parts, a node selector, a code writer, and a code interpreter. The code selector uh, will try to select the best node that can suitify your needs, and the code writer will write pseudo code, and finally, the code interpreter will interpret the pseudo code into JSON format where Vero Blocks uh, system can consume and uh, depict the pipeline for you. Here, you can see the user simply uh, put a prompt into the box, grab sunglasses from the internet, and let me experience virtual try on. And after a few seconds, boom, you have like a sunglass overlaid onto the person's webcam camera, and you can easily change the prompt a little bit. For example, sunglasses with transparent, with transparent background, and uh, it gave you the pipeline instantly. Another example, uh, write me a trip planner using LLMs, and uh, it automatically lay out number of days, uh, your destination of the trip, and give you a pipeline that you can easily distribute online. With a quantitative evaluation, Instrument Pipe reduces user interaction by 81%. It also significantly reduces the total number of operations and reduces the programming time of users. Here, you can see one more example of this in action. In this case, the user prompt turning an image, a tiger image into a cat, and uh, the video blocks brings a, a LLM node uh, that can describe your input image and uh, change the keyword from a tiger to a cat, and use Google's image gen model to generate a new image that has a similar background of the input image. Really incredible stuff, yes? And uh, this is just uh, uh, scratching the surface and uh, what is, could be possible for the future. Uh, we envision, like in the future, after we integrate more and more multimodal models, uh, we can get better over time. So if you're excited by what you have seen, uh, learn more about this research in the goo.gle slash pipe to read our full paper. So in conclusion, Vero Blocks lower the barriers for the development of ML-based applications. It empowers users, developers, to experiment different ideas and the designs without worrying about coding or technical details. Finally, it facilitates collaboration between designers and the developers by providing a common language for describing AI pipelines. Finally, we firmly believe with Vero Blocks, everyone could unleash their inner creativity. Thank you for listening, thinking, and watching. Any questions are welcome.